Hello everyone and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. My name's Sekorsa and as you can see I've already rebuilt the inn. Wasn't too bad of a project but let's go ahead and step inside and see what all has changed. Well first and most obvious change is that it's completely different. I switched out the shutters I've actually dressed up the interior. I've got working stove with running water to it, so I won't ever have to haul in jars or water skins or what have you. I also have meat cooking up on that, and I started running my beer barrels. Now here's the thing, they take forever. So, I think I set these up right before I started, or no, it was right after I was done with reconstruction, and I've been messing around since then, doing other bits and bobs, trying to um, get everything set up, and they've only produced two. But anyway, so, chimney goes straight out the roof. Huh. Apparently I've got a leak. Whoops. But anyway, so I put in something that kind of looks like rafters. It's the um, scaffolding from the, the, I think it was the settler set. But anyways, you walk into the rooms and you actually have a nice ceiling so it doesn't get drafty. Like it would ever actually get drafty here. Anyways, all of the rooms have bunk beds and a chest just like I planned and I've got a nice little um, balcony yes balcony out the front but the one thing that I still haven't got is good pillars most of the pillars that I tried to use snap to the center and not the edge if I could find any pillar that could snap to an edge or corner I would use it in a heartbeat but I just simply can't just find them. That was a lot of just. Anyways. Another thing that has happened, um, for whatever reason, I can't access my Anklo. So I walk up to it, hit F, doesn't open the inventory, hit E, or tap E, doesn't do anything. Opens up the wheel, you can hear the chirp of it trying to do it. I'll sit here for a few seconds. Nothing. But I can walk up to anybody else. Also, the other peculiar thing is the saddle disappeared. So, I think... Oh, it... Since I first discovered this, I've tried logging in, logging out, or logging out and back in, resetting my server, and, um, yeah, I, I've tried taking it all the way over to the other side, back that way, just to the other side of my little peninsula, doesn't do a thing, um, I've tried unclaiming it, reclaiming it, I've tried punching it, unclaiming it, then punching it. Um. Hmm. I, I don't think it can be a latency issue. Uh, really? It rains so much here. And look, look at the clouds materializing now that it started raining. <laughs> but it rains so much on this map. There's one reason why I've been putting off recording is it's like every time I'm about to start recording, it rains. Stupid rain. But anyways, I think the only solution for me at this point is to find another Anklo. Maybe I can use this one for breeding later. Speaking of breeding, I need to hurry up and finish getting my central construction over here done. So I can start building stables and start breeding. 
Um, so what I need over here is I need enough room that I can put down an electrical generator. I need to have an industrial smelter. Is that what it's called? I'll keep talking while I run over to go check, but need a fabricator, the industrial smelter, um, the industrial grinder. I'm not going to need an industrial cooker because the um, the stove or the furnace that I have over in the inn is going to do that for me. Um, right here. And what is it under? Electrical, maybe? Definitely not it. Crafting, then. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, the industrial forge, industrial grinder, chemistry bench, fabricator. Yeah, I need all of those in there. Let's see, I also need to build a bunch more vaults. And that's something that I can start working on here in a bit. Um, I have been churning through as much metal as I can. Still a lot more to go. But anyways, so I need to do planning over here. And I've made no preparations for that, so, um... Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess I did make some preparations. There's a... Here, so let me pick that up. So I'll be able to walk through here. Out into my large crafting area. I plan on taking it up by one. To have sort of a thicker foundation to cover up this grass because I don't like that grass but I can also do that over on this other side as well extra large here and there we go but I think I want to have hmm I don't know Oh, and that's another thing I need to answer. What sort of flooring and all that other stuff do I want to use? I think I want to move over to S plus with that. Because I can stack foundations that way. But there's also the other benefit of using S plus, which if I get over here and show you the neat little trick that I did over in the basement here to combine the two because this is still S plus but the neat thing about S plus though don't get ahead of myself here is you can put water and electricity through the flooring so you can see I've got water running in here and it showed me setting it up when I built the inn or is the episode after it doesn't matter but you can see I overlap settler foundations here, just so I could get that benefit out of the S plus while still having Wow, that water tap distracted me enough that I lost my train of thought. But while I could still have the Castle Keeps and Forts structure, and as you can tell, it's just that little bit bigger. But that's fine, I've just got a little stair running up into it. But anyways, beside the point. But I know that they don't line up perfectly, and that's the big problem that I'm gonna have if I try to mix the two. But I do wanna use the S Plus so I can get the electricity put on the flooring. So that's one thing that I'm gonna have to take into consideration while I'm working on this. But let's see. Oh yeah, that's my current plan. I'm gonna get over here and start working on that. This tree's gonna have to go. Hmm. 
I think I could just get away with using completely nothing but S plus, but I need to figure out how big the industrial industrial forge. I'm already forgetting its name. But I need to figure out how big the industrial forge is so I know how big to make the rest of the thing. And I have to make the industrial forge away from everything else because I know how hot it gets. It'll kill you if you stand too close to it for too long. Okay, can I pull everything here? Awesome. I don't need the industrial cooker, I just want the industrial forge. Alright, so let me run back over to the big key, and I'll show you how big it is, because I know the thing's huge. I've made them before. There we go. So, yeah, it's about a 3x3 three three is what you'll need to sit it in. One, two, three, yeah. So it takes at least 3x3 three three space, and... I guess every third one up you have to add an extra because of that little bit of a difference so let's see this should be it's two and I think I need to go up one more layer so here at the floor it's four castle keeps and forts walls high which is gonna be about four five maybe six s plus ones let's see if i actually have you know what i should have done instead of like pretending to measure like that i should have went to see if i actually had walls which i know i do since i just had to do a big reconstruction job and there we go 71 let's split half i don't need that many Okay. Okay. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Okay. So it needs to be six, if not seven tall if I want to completely encase it. That is... That is absurd. That is insane. I'm gonna need a gun to shoot down the top ones. Okay. Oh, right. Let me pick this back up. Alright, well anyways, now that I kind of have a gauge on how large it needs to be, I should be able to, um construct something that'll house it and everything else so i'll get started making up everything and i'll be right back
Alrighty, well, what I've got done here is I've pretty much got everything crammed in here. Doesn't look pretty, it's just a big wooden box, but it's functional and that's what I need for now. Oh, I completely forgot to set all this up. I need to get, whoops. Um, oh, please tell me I have it here. Oh, I've got it here. Okay, it looks like I've got power. But it still says everything over here is unpowered. Do I have to put an outlet down? I guess I do. Well, luckily I do have one of those extra. Yeah, that's what I was missing. Now all of this stuff is powered. I thought it would just pull power from the floor. Apparently not. Let's just give me all of these back. Okay, so what's next from here? I think I probably need to bring in other crafting stations into here. Um, at least the S plus station. Maybe the smithy as well. Did I seriously poop there? <laughs> I might also need to make this a bit bigger to accommodate the many crafting stations I need to bring in here. But let me go grab those and I'll be right back. Alright, so it turns out that this place is not actually large enough to put all of my workstations down. So I'm going to have to either expand out on this building. Like maybe going this direction with it. Like popping a hole here and then building outward some more. Or, you know, taking the entire wall down. I, I'm not certain at this point. Actually... What I could do... And put it here. Put the gasoline back in it. Okay. So I can go through here and then build out another area to craft in down here. That might be what I have to do. Because I'm not seeing any other alternatives. Alright, well that, that'll be something that I work on later. This was the main thing that I wanted to accomplish in this episode was to get this room built and have all of my um, resource, my raw resource production stuff set up and also have electricity set up. So what I'm going to do between episodes is just connect this guy up to wherever it needs to go. I'm probably going to end up taking it both over here to the greenhouse and over here to the inn. That being said, both of those shouldn't be that big of a deal. Probably just going to try to run some wiring straight down the middle and hook it up into the greenhouse where necessary. But. Anyways, I'm going to do that between episodes, as I said, and I think that's where I'm going to end this one. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe for all my video updates. It's going to put a couple links over on the left for more videos you may enjoy. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and have yourselves a very good day.